Now, as usual, I've done my brows off camera. I'm just using a bit of concealer to underline them. Um, probably like one or two shades lighter and this is going to make them look very clean and defined and I'm also going to use that same concealer and apply it all over my eyelid as a base you guys know that I like to use concealer as my eyeshadow base so I'm just gonna make sure I evenly blend that across the eyelid before setting it now I'm just gonna lay down a bit of tape before we start on our eye makeup so the first shade I'm using is Barcelona Beach from Makeup Geek. It's the perfect transition color for this eye look. It's not too cool tone, but it's not too warm. It's just perfect. So I'm just going to blend this through the crease. Going in with my Makeup Atelier palette. This one has all your matte gray charcoal black shades. So I'm just gonna go in with this shade here first and apply this through the crease as well. Now I'm going to go in with the darker grey charcoal matte colour and I'm going to apply this through the crease as well but I'm also going to connect it to the lower lash line. Now I'm going to dip into that matte black and I'm going to apply this to the very outer corner of the eyes. I'm just going to make sure everything is well blended and everything just transitions well into each other. So now I'm just going to lay down a bit of this mixing medium from Girly Cosmetics I am going to apply a loose pigment from Girly Cosmetics as well. So this is going to be a nice sticky base for the pigment to adhere to. Now I'm just going to use this chunky glitter from the same brand called Silverado. And I'm just going to pop that over top. So we're just going to take off that tape before moving on to eyeliner. We're not doing anything too dramatic or winked out. It's just a simple line across the eyelid as close to the lash line as possible. And then we're going to go back in with that matte black eyeshadow. And I'm just going to pack this on at the end of the eyeliner. Moving on to lashes, I'm using this pair here from Anitude Lashes. I wanted something big, bold and very winged out at the ends. So I'm just going to pop those on before starting on my base. So first up we're going to prime. I'm using the Napoleon Purtis Auto Pilot Primer. I've been using this a lot lately and I really like it. It's very moisturizing, hydrating feels really smooth and smells good as well. For foundation, I'm using Dermacol. I actually don't use this in the day or night. I just use it on camera in my videos. It just makes my skin look really flawless and covered and just really smooth. So yeah, I just use it on camera pretty much. I like to mix two shades and I just mix it together and apply it all across my face just using a normal synthetic foundation brush. And then I like to go in with a damp sponge to blend it out. Once I've buffed in all that foundation, we're going to do a bit of cream contouring. I like to cream contour before I do concealer. And I'm just using Inglot's foundation in 86. So I've pretty much just applied that around the frame of my face. You know, the cheeks, the nose, the usual areas that you would like to be sculpted. And it does look really intense. Like I look back at this footage and I'm just like, oh shit, like... It looks like some dark cocoa on my face. But once you blend it out, honestly, it doesn't even look as dark as you would think it would look at first. Because it's really dark. But once you buff it out, it's just all blended and doesn't even look that dark. So don't be scared to go a bit darker with your contour colors. So once I've buffed in that cream contour, we're going to move on to concealer. I'm using my oldie favorite, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and the Custard. I've pretty much neglected my NARS concealers because I've been using my Tarte Shape Tape concealer, which I love. But I pretty much run out of my actual color, so I went back to my NARS one, which I still love as well. So we're just going to apply that to draw, uh, like draw, sorry, draw some little triangles under the eyes and go down the T-zone just to brighten. And I'm going to use my same sponge to buff in the concealer. But of course, you want to use the more pointed end just because it fits nice in like the smaller areas. Now I'm using my Doom Blend Translucent Powder. We're going to bake underneath the eye area. Stick a bit of product down there and just let it sit for a while. And I'm also going to bake along the um, sides of my nose just to enhance my nose contour and a bit down the T-zone if you like as well. So I'm just going to let that sit for a bit and move on to setting the rest of my face before I move on to contouring. Now I have already done the cream contour so this is completely optional, not essential, but I do like quite a dramatic contour so I'm just gonna go over top with this contour powder from Makeup Geek. All right, so now we're just going to sweep away that excess powder.
using the BH Cosmetics bronzer, I'm just going to bronze up my face. I do like to be highlighted like under the eyes, but I also like to look bronze at the same time. I don't like to look too pale pretty much. So I'm just going to bronze up my face. To highlight, I'm using the BH Cosmetics uh, strobe. It's called Strobe Something Highlight Palette. I'm obsessed with this palette. If you guys uh, want something like reasonably affordable, um, I'm not sure if you call it drugstore, but yeah, I'll totally recommend this palette. Once I've done that, I'm just going to go back in with that Dermabloom powder again. Just apply a little bit underneath my contour just to make it even more defined. And I'm just going to let that sit for a bit and I'm going to finish off the eye. So I'm going in with those same shadows that we used on the eyelid, mainly like the charcoal grey colours and the bit of the black. I'm just going to smoke this along the lower lash line. Now I'm just going to sweep away that excess powder that we had underneath our contour. So I'm just using my Inkblot Gel Line in 77, just a uh, matte black colour. I'm going to apply this throughout my waterline. I'm going to apply a bit of mascara to my lower lash line and also a little bit on my top lashes. Now to finish off the look, we're going to do a glossy nude lip. The first product I'm using is Barely Bold Lip Liner from MAC. It's like a peachy nude color. I'm just going to fill in my lips with that. And then I'm going to use another lip liner from Inglot. This is more of like a um, mid-tone brown, I would say. And I'm just going to use that to outline my lips only. And then lastly, to top it off, I'm going to use this Napoleon Purtis lip gloss called Overcoat. It's just a very basic must have like creamy nude color so here we have the completed look i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial make sure you like share and subscribe if you haven't already and of course leave all your nice comments down in the comment section but until next time i will see you on my next video bye <laughs>